Welcome back, Bracco here. Please hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Follow frankspeech.com, CanCons on Locals, and I also recommend Jovan Hutton Pulitzer on Locals. I'll leave a link in the description, but these are great sources. Now we have great news out of Texas. Election integrity signed into law by the governor. We have election hearings in Pennsylvania. Finally, we have we have great news out of Wisconsin. Now in Texas, Governor Abbott signed into law the Elections Integrity Senate Bill 1. And basically what it says is it requires voter ID to be voting, no longer allows county clerks or elections officials to send out applications for voter registration unsolicited. They also made ballot harvesting a class three felony so that's not going to go well with the harvesters. This bill also allows for greater amounts of time of early voting. They have a total of 12 days of early voting in Texas, but the amount of hours available have increased. They have also made it law that if you're going to do early voting, you have a right to get off from work to go do it. They also allow for people that work on election day to be able to get off to vote. So there are other security measures that are in place that are going to make it safer and harder to commit fraud. Well, that's great news. Now we have great news out of Pennsylvania. Now they had a hearing, an election hearing, a couple days ago. Now a number of the people they anticipated to be there to answer questions didn't show up. But Senate President Jake Corman of Pennsylvania said they're going to have another hearing on the 13th monday and he basically went on to say that they're going to put together subpoenas to get elections materials ballots voting machines logs routers all these things and he also went on to say that they are going to push forward for full forensic audits so that's great news out of pennsylvania Finally, we had a report that House Speaker Voss and Inspections Director Gableman have sent a letter to the Wisconsin Elections Commission instructing them to inform the county clerks to preserve all election materials, voting machines, ballots, routers, computer access logs, and all that. They've instructed them to do that. So that's great news. Thanks for checking this video out. Please smash that like button, subscribe, and share.